I first came out, um, Sad and and like Dripping My Walk were two really great songs that I think people really love. But I still think for me, I'm still I'm still that record away from everything. People were looking at you like, wow, she's different. Definitely a lot of very competitive in the male world because I am a girl, but I like girls. So and I rap good like the guys. And I dress really nice, so the girls like me <laughs> you too. Fly, like, you and I'm fly. cute, you know? <laughs> and I'm pee, like, so they don't like it. Who don't like you? I'm just saying, like, the men, it, they feel away. They you like, know you what I mean? steal my bitch. Right. <laughs> so n- now I want yours. to the baller show podcast available everywhere you get your podcast please continue to like subscribe and share our youtube page at baller alert tv i go by the name of ferrari simmons i go by the name you know bt ct with that cody shane in the building hey! Hey! I, say, I go by the name of cody shane what up i love it we appreciate you blessing our you know blessing our show with your presence no i appreciate you guys i've been so excited to do this so Let's yeah. vibe out. Just in case you missed it. All right, y'all. Uh, today we got a uh, segment on this episode of Blue. It's not your color. Krishan gave birth to her baby, Krishan Jr. Congratulations. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. Yeah, Congratulations. Okay. Krishan okay. Jr. Okay. So she yeah. went on live and had this baby, and I'm talking about she hit like 300K, like over that. Named the baby after her. Did not give the Lord. baby daddy <laughs> last name. Matter of <laughs> fact, Blue was not even there. He was posting up in uh his in Miami. Mama. You know, Krishan gets discharged from the hospital, whatever like that. So she posts at her home gym. Her family was holding the baby. You know, Blueface sees that and says, hey, I need you to stop all that, and you need to quit let everybody hold my baby. And if you don't stop it in 30 30- Days, I'm gonna demand custody. Nobody taking my baby from me, yo. This is all planned for content. I don't think it's fake. I think people in general are so are in general are so infatuated with toxic things. And not only him, his mama too, because now she says that they're kissing cousins. <sighs> John had a baby with his cousin. Wait. She can't. what? Come to find out, her Sean mama is a Dorsey. She a Dorsey. Oh, the they baby. related to me. They're my people. And now, you know, Krishan also Blue went on not my and color. says <laughs> that um, she's calling the dad, you know, just to give him an update on their they baby or whatever like that. And he's going off about Lil Baby. He mad about Lil Baby. Because Krishan did a review on Lil Baby's restaurant. Oh, mm-hmm. my like, God. This man is a, this man is so emotional. Listen, this is the most emotional man on the planet. And he need to drop his nuts. I'm sorry if I can't say that. (laughs) But it's like too much female stuff that you got going on. If these girls be as crazy over you as they do, why you got to be the girl? Why you got to be the girl too? Like, why you, why you, yeah, you acting like a baby mama. That's what you know what I'm saying? So it's like, why are you, why you take, why you got to get on the internet with everything? Or why you so mad about, it be the insecurities. Like, tighten up. Mm -hmm. I am praying for growth eventually. Please. 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 I mean, but if not, hey, y'all do y'all thing. Man. Keep running it up. Keep running I was about it up. They're gonna keep getting that money, man. And so we go and we gonna keep watching. Get that yeah. money on. Shout out to Krishan. Get that money. And Krishan is a cute boy name to me, so yeah, you did your is. thing. And she called him Junior, so. And she the baby daddy anyway. Damn. <laughs> 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 Nigga acting like a baby mama. Mm. Look, bro, every time you go on the internet, Krishan rocking blue face. Cause Listen. they're Slack them? excellence at this point, like bro. As soon as I open Instagram <laughs> okay, by mistake, <laughs> running it up. I'm telling like, you, they running oh, okay. it up. Okay, okay. They I, taking I know whatever small things that's happening and running it up to a million. Diddy's giving his publishing back to his artists. I, I, listen, I don't is, know. Is that. there any publishing oh my left? God, for politics them to make? are real. <laughs> hey, right. <laughs> is there any? Is there any money left to collect? Like, mm. I, I mean, okay. I'm not an artist, so I wouldn't know. Them thousand my dollar only, lineups he was getting though. My only question would be, okay, so what are you doing with the artists that you work with now? Yeah. How are you doing that? I would like to say a lot of newer artists now are smarter and they're doing partnerships with mm-hmm. labels or who they sign to. So 
But then again, you never know, man. You it's got also that. still a lot of naive, naive yeah, young yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because if somebody, difficult. you know, if you broke and somebody say, yo, I'm going to give you half a million dollar check, but I'm going to own your music the rest of your life, you're going to take that half a million dollars. Because fucked up. And, and they might broke. not even say it like that. Yeah. It's like well, they're, they're not, not, they're not gonna say music say forever. Like they're gonna say like, here, here's 500k. They are gonna put it in cash right in your face too. Yeah, and I'm here's a briefcase. A, and I'm pretty sure I'll be, t- be the type of artist <laughs> that take it. And I'm chain, taking and the chain. Can't forget the chain. <laughs> yes, I'm and taking like, all of it. Can't forget the bust down. And you're not the only one. I'm taking all of it. So I don't blame some of these artists that be in these messed up contracts because. People make decisions based on their circumstances. The business is very deep. But you f- you tend to forget your circumstances when you smarten up later when you're making money and you say, wait, damn, that 500K that I w- received is now worth 2.5 million. And mm-hmm. if I would have waited and not took this and not signed this, but you never know. It's a catch 22. Well, what do you do? I see it on both sides. How I see it on the artist side also, and the label side. How do you navigate through that? I think it also comes back to like what's really important to you. Yeah. Why are you doing it? What really matters? Mm-hmm. That'll. Put it in a different perspective for you. Thanks. Too, mm-hmm. you know? yeah. Well, his uh, former artist, uh, Mark Curry, is saying that, you know, it's kind of worthless now to have the uh, the publishing. He already ran it up. Yeah. Ran that thing He probably up. was like, Shit, these ain't even making Mark no Curry's money. Mark Curry's fans just ain't. Back. Yeah, I'll be 40 soon. So those their fans are 40 like and older. 30 <laughs> years. Those three days hey, are over, it, my boy. It, it just sounds like, you know, uh, Puff is a great businessman. Hey, that's what it sounds, hey. like. That's what it sounds yeah, like to I me. Give him that. It that, just sounds like he's right. a great businessman. Am I not man. snapping? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, no, I'm talking you, about for the specific topic. Oh. Uh, is, that, is that not snappable? What? I don't think what so. is snappable is uh, Deion Sanders. Hey. Yeah, there we go. There hey. we go. So Deion Sanders is now ranked the 22, 22 in the country for Colorado. They beat TCU, who mm-hmm. was just in the national championship against UGA. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a good game. It was like 40-something to 40-something. Went all the way to the wire. Uh, they played Nebraska this week. I will definitely be tuned in. Shout out to Deion, man, for willing those kids and them young men and um, – you're not going to talk about the stats? Football. Uh, his son, Shador, uh, he had 510 passing yards, mm-hmm. four touchdowns. Mm-hmm. That running back, though, man, Edwards, boy, that's a bad boy. They got a squad. He's coaching a, his son? Yeah, he's coaching his son. His son is, look, he has two of, of his sons. One played defense and one's the quarterback. That, but, that running back, though, he scored three times. But listen, you, f- you fail to forget that a lot of people thought his son was only the quarterback because he is son. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but he actually... Then when really I seen good. the game, I said, oh... He's throwing that thing. And oh. zero interceptions, zero turnovers. N- no fumbles, no nothing. That's Great crazy. Game. You can tell I watched 510 the whole shit, 510 yards? I was about to say, either you Googled it or you no, no, actually no, I watched, watched that this bitch. game. Yeah. From start to finish, I was like, damn, they really going to pull this shit off. Man. Because TCU right. was like ranked. Dion is getting a lot of love, but I feel like he's about to start getting a lot of hate just because of... Oh, it's going to happen more, but I believe... So I, I, this is the plan, I think. Deion Sanders went to Florida State. His jersey's retired there. He's arguably one of the greatest athletes of all time. The only athlete that played in the World Series and the Super Bowl. I, I know my Deion stats because he's one of my favorite football players, him and Michael Vick. Anyway, uh, if he does a ses- successful season with Colorado, he's going to Florida State as the head coach. I'm telling y'all now, book it. And don't forget, they also was talking about how they was going to get that $28 million that they offered to pay him. They already received the money to pay him. And, Cody Shane, tickets for the Colorado. Colorado. Who fucking goes to Colorado to watch football? They coming now. <laughs> They're $400. That's more than an NFL game. The resale. The, the reseller. The resale mm-hmm. value for that is $400. You guys are filling me up with a lot of knowledge. I'm not the big, biggest footballer. We, you know, you know, we have, I do know we have who Deion right. Sanders is. Yes. Yeah. Now, yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. I'm understanding why Come I should have been snapping. What's up, Ot? It's love versus money on the Baller Alert Show. And now it's time for love versus money. I'm going to give a couple and you let me know if they're there for the business or is it really love. All right. Okay. Today we have Drew Sedora and Ralph Pittman. Business. I'm not familiar with him, so I'll just go with what he's saying because he seems trustworthy. Yeah. So trustworthy guy. Ralph <laughs> accuses X of proposing he adopt her son for financial gain. Sounds, yeah, this is business. Sounds like a business transaction to me. They ended their eight eight year marriage. Um, the, 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 They're on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Real mm-hmm. Housewives of Atlanta. Uh, you know, I think everything on there is strictly I, business. I, I, I feel kids are off limits, business. but I, I do know a mother knows her child and 
anything around her child. So if she feels that uh, her husband or spouse adopted her son for financial gain, I'm more likely to say, damn, that might be right. Is yeah. I don't know. I don't know the context all the way through, but yeah. Mm. Man. I'm thinking business. I'm thinking business too. Business is business. Baller alert! What's up? It's Cody Shane, and you are now tuned in to the Baller Alert Show. Let's go. Back with the Baller Alert Show. Uh, Cody Shane is in the building. Hey! We appreciate you pulling up on us. Uh, having fun. For the people who don't know Cody Shane all the way through, where's Cody Shane from? Cody Shane was born in Atlanta and raised in Chicago. And um, I feel like I have a great mix of both both cities i love both dearly where did cody shane come from is that your real name um my name is cody chantil so cody shane we just took off the the end super real name no game no no gimmick real game no scrimmage Ooh, <laughs> bars no cap we fight out. i've known cody shane for a very long time um i like to say we're friends yes uh energy is crazy cody shane to me was one of the biggest stars um new stars um i remember what 2006 16 2017 mm -hmm. really like 17 17 and man i just saw i saw you in sprite commercials i just seen cody shane doing yeah that sprite commercial i was like thing. i was clapping i was like wow and what was the song um it was like it was a, a couple of them actually uh, for the sprite commercial Mm -hmm. um, I auditioned the... for the commercial and... oh you auditioned i didn't know that yeah i, I thought they just gave it to you now i put up to a um <laughs> I pulled up to a random audition. I didn't really what? know what was it, what it was for. Really? Yeah, and Did I, they I recognize got the part. You? I was actually on the mood board for the commercial. Got you. Like my pictures. Wow. And then I auditioned, and they was like, "Man, we love her." Got the part. Called us right people. <laughs> did, did that come with like free sprite? Did you get like free sprite for a while? Or? Got a lot of sprite. I'm always drinking sprite. I only like sprite. So is that still is that still like, a thing? I like their marketing. Um, I want it to always be a thing. Okay. Yeah, no, nah, but um, it was a really dope experience. To it, it just happened so crazy, and it really just all um, fell together. And it was one of the greatest, really, really dope, like set, like Sprite. The whole crew was really dope, and um, shooting that was fire. Now, for those mm -hmm. who don't know uh, or are unfamiliar with who you are, like, what was your claim to fame? Like, what was the song or the hit that record that people will know you from? I think um, for me in my career, like when I first came out, um, Sad and, and like Dripping My Walk were two really great songs that I think people really loved. But I still think for me, I'm still, I'm still that record away from everything. You know what I mean? I think one of the biggest things for me and in my career and what really um, had me going so crazy is like, all the doors I opened for other female artists just like me and and that sound and like the girls being able to run with the guys like for like three years I was the only girl on Rolling Loud three four years you know so before yeah. that was a thing and before that was even thought about I was doing it you know what I mean so I think that was my claim to fame that is my claim to fame is the doors I open and how I inspire people and all the girls you can listen to right now that say and you say, man, that sounds like Cody a little to me. How did That's you, my... <laughs> okay. How did you get there? What was that journey like to drip on my walk? Around that time, everything was just more fun. Like, now everything is really like, you got to do this. You got to do that. You got to be on Instagram. You got to be on TikTok. Back then, it was new and it was fun. So, it wasn't necessarily a method to the madness. It was just like, we're having fun. We're being ourselves. Ooh, and we can post it now. And we can show what year was as that? As many people as we want to. Like, really, 2016, I think, is when... And then the SoundCloud era was just, yeah. like, really yeah. heavy. And it was, like, way more in our palms. Like, oh, my God, we can just drop... This is I feel like different. artists like you that came in that SoundCloud era that got real fans ha still have those fans now. Whereas now it's a little bit harder to get a fan base because people. I feel like people have so many options. I feel like the people who kind of came up in the sound... Correct me if I'm wrong... In the SoundCloud era, like you, Lil Yachty, and those uh, Lil Uzi, y'all mm -hmm. fan base. And you were one of the first female artists that I saw that had, like, diehard fans. Like, people showed up for you. Shout out. Shout out to the fans. But my question to you is, around this time, and like I was saying, this is all going good. Are you signed? 
at this particular moment? At, at, oh, that wow. at, at that particular moment, where you signed? No. This was mm, right when I dropped... I dropped my first EP, like, right after that, like, I dropped Sad. Um, it depends on what time you're really talking about, because right after that, I got signed. So I got signed. Signed to, to who? Signed to Epic. Okay. Yeah, so you were signed when, when uh, she came to the radio station. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the, but the deal I had was so, it was such a great deal in my favor. Shout out to Epic. I love you guys forever. Um, it was just such a great deal on my on my part. And if you're... If you're a young artist and you don't have like a hit hit, like you can have a hit in the city, you can have a hit in your community, but if you don't have a hit hit, you can sign to wherever, you're still moving independent. So it's not it's not like so different. But what well, you didn't, it's you not didn't a fully ask your question. But it's not a fully the, a priority. What was the deal? Ninety ten. Wow. That's ninety a, that's for a, me. That's no, great. no, no, um, no merch. Like it was just like love, of course. Uh, um they allowed you to be Cody And Shane. I'm just open to talk about this now because it's been so long ago. But, of course, I had a, um advance and I was 16, like 15, 16. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just like, I forgot to say this that. This was you like, were, what? Yeah, you were 15, you know I mean? 16 at the time, too. I forgot to say that. Exactly. So if you're not giving too much, if you're not getting too much, then you won't be giving too much. So mm -hmm. it's like, I could give you 100000 but I'm only making 10% back. You know what I'm saying? Or I can give you... So it's like, it still was a very um, run my own race type of situation, which I was still very grateful for and amazing experience and have relationships with people now that um, could change... That has changed my life, so... Sound like those advances, how them labels get these artists. Yeah, not even really. <laughs> not even really, because it's like, if I... If... Yeah, advances <laughs> is how they get them, but when you get an advance and... You only giving ten percent to a to a major. But I don't think most people's deals are, are that up? great. Exactly. That's, that's beautiful. Exactly. Yeah, that's why I'm like, oh, God is good. So a big advance <laughs> with, you know, a lower major label. Um, uh, you know, with a lower ownership percentage would probably be a lot more owed on the yeah, much artist different. side. Yeah, much different. Okay. And, and yeah, shout out to L.A. Reid. I think I think he just really really loved me and yeah, he did. That was so. Really you were one of the first of your kind. Um, was that hard at first though? Because I know you said it was fun, but people were looking at you like, "Wow, she's different. She's not yeah usually what I would listen to. She's dope." Were there any like issues that you came around that came up around this time frame or what? Um, definitely dealt with a lot of people that didn't really understand me or how to market me. Like I've had people say like, yeah, but I don't know how to market this. So that's understandable because when it's new, I guess you should know how it's something that's a, um, a learning process. And um, definitely a lot of very competitive in the male world because I am a girl, but I like girls. So, and I rap good like the guys and I dress really nice. So the girls like me <laughs> too fly, like, and I'm fly. cute, you know? <laughs> And I'm P, like, so they don't like it. They don't like me. I'm not I'm not bisexual, so I'm not. Who don't like you? I'm just saying, like, the men, it, they feel away. Oh, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's like, makes it a little bit that much more competitive for me. Well, it, it did in the past, and it still does today. Um, but I just, we rally. We progress. Like, you know you what I mean? They like, steal my bitch. Right. <laughs> so now I want yours. Did you, did you, did you ever steal <laughs> someone's girl? Um, I mean, you know. I've been around, but they've stolen mine too. So oh. how can I? <laughs> I can't be pissed. I can only be okay. real. Uh, but it's definitely been a lot of challenges in that, in okay. in being, you know, the first to do something. I know we've all experienced that, like being the first to do something. Not a lot of people gonna see it or see the vision or understand it because it's like it's the first time it's happening. So you have to create your own lane for something. Like I feel like when Drake first came out, we didn't understand it fully. It was like, man, this is different. This is. And he just created his own lane. So mm -hmm. I feel like that's just what it takes. I do think, like, linking with Yachty in the beginning of my career was um, something that helped me be a little more digestible yep. to show, like, me fit in. Mm -hmm. um, How's your relationship now, you and Yachty? I took the walk. Nah, um, Yachty's a cool guy, I think. Um, as you get older, you outgrow and you understand things differently and perspectives change and you learn how to swim. 
AKA y'all <laughs> not friends no more. That's that <laughs> I mean, not it's just like you gotta really like feel a way about something to have an opinion on it. Gotcha. You know? Mm -hmm. I don't no ways. Okay. So. so when your deal is up with Epic, what happens then? Um, man, that was the craziest time in my life, not only because me and Epic um when our separate ways and we cut ways it amicable, amazingly. It was, it was okay. great. Like they I Sylvia Rome, I love you. LA, I still love you. Epic, the whole Epic family. And that's probably you. why you got a good deal too, because Sylvia Rome, she look out for people. Um, actually, LA signed me. Okay. okay. But when I got signed, LA left. So mm. um he had to leave. So then I was with him. Then I was he more did, so he did hit co. Right. Yeah, so then I'm more so brunt, built a relationship with Sylvia, okay. which I always still loved her, even when LA signed me. She was great. Mm -hmm. Um but oh. I built more of a relationship with her when L.A. left, which I love her, you know? Yeah. So, for sure. No, I say that because, you know, she looked out for Missy in 100%. a great way. Busta, like, all those people. Yeah, like, and, really. and she's a girl's girl. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah. When you when your deal's up with Epic, what does Cody Shane, Shane do now? It's such a crazy time in life, uh, not only because of Epic, but um, Maddie P that I created most of my sound with and grew with and Learned so much from he passed away around that same time. Mm. And, when, when, what, what year is this? This is 2020. Pandemic. This is your producer? This is like 2020, end of 2020, 2021. And this person is who to you? This is everything to me. This is my brother, my producer. He put me on my first beat. He recorded my first real song that I put out. We recorded everything together. This is my heart. And um, he passed away around that same time. And my grandfather passed away around that same time. So it was like a very, and plus I'm going through the most crazy, crazy public breakup of my life all at the same time so it was just a very um like in very very intense year for me intense couple of months honestly and so I, I really just like took some time to just go home and reset I didn't make any music for almost a year I just got heavy on my on my family and had to like really reset because it was too much happening at once I had to Take a step back. I'm glad you, you know, did that. Atlanta will swallow you up if you let it. Yeah. So. And I'm glad mm -hmm. you shared that too. That's a thank you. You know, I'm big on mental health, so I'm glad that you took that time because some people would have crashed out. No, it's important. I, I went through a lot, so I had to just no phone, no nothing. It was uh, intense, but I'm happy to be here. And yeah, it's time. So it's 2020 when you got out of your deal. Yeah, like into 2020, 2021. Oh, so that's kind of recent. Oh, very, yeah, pretty recent. Okay. Um, like the end of quarantine, really, when quarantine was like ending. Okay, so this is a new start for you, like being independent again. And are you? Would you sign with another label? Um, I really wanna. I wanna be like Chance the Rapper and Taylor Bennett. I wanna be like. I want that bag. I wanna figure that out. I wanna be, um, just able to. Cause like I said, when you don't have that record or those records you can sign to whatever label you want you're still going to be running your ship independent until you're like truly a priority so mm -hmm. i don't want to go nowhere until i got real leverage until i'm like no nah, this is what i want and beyond that when i get to that point i still might not even want to do that because it's like when you really got your business together and you got great people around you that love you and want to see you win like there's no why give yourself? Why give yourself away? Mm -hmm. Oh, Chance if, the Rapper is independent. If there's a way to keep, you know what I'm saying? You, your, mm -hmm. your um, intellectual property. If there's a way to keep it and to maintain it and to take care of your family in that way, why would you do anything different? Mm -hmm. If right. there's a way, yeah. Chance is like, I think he has a partnership with Apple. I'm, I might be wrong. I don't mm -hmm. want to be wrong, but they're they're out of here. I like that. I yeah. want to be like. You should reach out to him. Oh, I shout out to Taylor Bennett. I really, really, <laughs> I really, really rock with his brother. That's yeah. my homie. So oh, gotcha. I'm, I'm trying to soak up all the game I can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. What's some mistakes that you made early on in your career? Um, I have one question though. Is Russ who is Russ signed to? Russ, Russ is independent. I want to be like Russ. Russ is independent. Then you need like to reach that, out to Russ. And Russ used to be signed to RCA. That's yeah. the that's the lane. You see that? Like no, you He's don't have a to, lot of free games. Too. You don't have to hear about this man for six months. And in those six months, yeah. he was in Egypt and all around the he did, world. Yeah, there's world tours. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's what I care about. Like, yeah. but that's what I said earlier. It comes back around to how much does it matter to you? Mm. Do you care about the popularity? Do you mm. care about what do you care about? What are you doing it for? You know what I'm saying? And that's 
when, oh, I'm going to take the 500000 in the chain in the car. That's when that mm-hmm. perspective comes in. It's like, how much do you care? Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I love Russ. Mistakes that I made, I think not being present was present in like every moment when I was young. Like I said, a lot of things were fun. So I was just floating and moving and being where they told me to be and showing up and being great at being there. So people would invite me back, but I wasn't necessarily like totally being present and like nurturing my relationships and the people that I was meeting because when you're so young, you're not really, you're just not thinking about it. You're just happy to be there. Yeah. I'm just like, and, and I'm just having fun and oh my God, they love this. Yeah. I'm just going to keep doing I'm just going to keep doing that mm-hmm. instead of being like man like really like soaking it up and being in these moments and like checking on people mm-hmm. you know like nurturing your relationships I think that's one of the biggest things um but other than that I'm a firm believer in everything happens as it should mm-hmm. I wouldn't be the person I am today if I didn't go through all the all the bullshit so I think I'm grateful. Uh, one thing I liked about you is you had a mean merch game Gangsta. Yeah. So are we gonna? Are we still doing that? Are yes. we going to do that? Yes. I'm excited. Hold on. Look at my shirt. <laughs> it says Young, Hot, and Vulnerable. Yes. Fire. This is me. Right Merch. now. <laughs> yeah, I, I will wear right your now. shirt all the time. I think it was Gangsta. one big I'm gonna get you there. one. Yeah. I, I will wear. Uh. I, I, it was the one with you. With your shirt. With the glasses yes, with on. Yes. The, the Cody shirt. That was the. Uh, yeah. That was the Uzi tour shirt. That was fire. Yeah. So I want to tap back in. Like I said, I took that time to for me. So now I'm. Um, just getting back into things and, and assembling the people that I really need and also getting comfortable and understanding being in the driver's seat of my of my shit. Like, okay, this is me. Like, I'm, you know, really, really mm-hmm. present, really paying attention, really, I'm doing it for me, so. So does yeah. Cody Shane still make good money, like, with streaming? Yeah, and- I, I feel like I, I stream very well. Um, it's just all about marketing, um, I think marketing is the biggest thing ever. If people don't see it, they won't know about it. Is your loyal fan base still with you? Yeah, shout out to Shane Gang. Shout yeah, out Shane to Gang all the, the supporters. Lit. Like, that's the thing, and that's... I'll bring up Russ again. Like, he started in those 300 rooms, went up to five, went up to 15, and those people are, like, people that no matter what, if he drops, they're going to buy it. Whether it's clothes, tickets, a book, it doesn't matter what it is, they're going to buy it because he's been loyal to those people and you know and question when you took your mental break and you were you know Mm -hmm. getting your things together mentally did you update your fans about that or what happened like did because people were probably saying hey where's the music what we doing i think we need you that time was so detrimental to me and so like so um important and and so everything that it couldn't, be, it just had to be about that. It couldn't be about, oh, I have to make, because really in all reality, in like actuality, like 10 years ago, 20 years ago, you wouldn't really have to update people. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. this is life. Like this right. is the internet and then this is life. And when right. it gets so serious to a point, it's like, I shouldn't have to, you know what I'm saying? Right. We were just trending like, because see- Jamie Foxx, had to update his dude, fan base dude. because he took that he was sick and but mm-hmm. he was feeling better and he didn't say anything. But that's yeah. what I told them. I they was like, I was like, yo, him. his fan base is getting mad because this is like the new thing on the internet. It's like you have to publicize yes. everything that's going on in your life. And I think people have to take a step back and 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 realize like you can't expect people to do things that you don't even do. As in, like, you're not updating me. <laughs> you're not updating your 12 followers about the fact that you had a stroke or, or whatever, had a heart attack. Why why should I have to do it? Because it's a million of you guys. I understand your 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 love for me, but it's like the entitlement. Like, it's, yeah. it's like, why are you publicly apologizing that you cheated on your wife? Yeah. Who is that for? I understand women aren't getting embarrassed, but it's like, there's life and then there's social media. It's like... Some mm-hmm. people's are like totally intertwined and yeah. attached. I think I, I don't think the fans are just too invested that with, too. with the talent now because I believe, you know, obviously, you know, I wasn't a dope back in the time of like Michael Jackson and seeing what that was. But I feel like if somebody of like those artists back in the day, I feel like they can go through things and they fans will understand like this person is human. They go through things. A press release at the most. You yeah. know what I mean? But like yeah. I also I don't. 
don't get me wrong. Like, I, I, I don't have the best communication when it comes to my fans because, again, like, I am, I, I'm an artist, so I like to just flow. So it's, I'm not the best at it, but and I, see I think the my scorpion fans. on your uh, thing. Scorpion, scorpion? Yeah, the real scorpion. <laughs> are you a scorpion? Um, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. Um, but I do think my fans are really fire in that way to where it's like they understand that I'm a real person. So okay. shout out to the people that love me and the new people. I am a real person. So <laughs> now what are you working on? You have, you have new music? Um... Yes, I just dropped the EP, Sounds 432. Um, it's your last chance to dance. I'm really, really excited about it. It's like a end of summer house vibe. Um, it's really fire. I, I've been really passionate about it, wanting to people, wanting to make people dance and have a good time. So I'm really, really excited about that. And then I'm working on a more of an R&B type of I love your the Project R&B version the, of you. Thank you. Yeah. I got some really, really fire stuff. So I'm working on like an R&B project for um for the top of the year. I like it's the last chance to dance. It's your Where last chance to dance. Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Where'd that come from? Um, We actually, I was making a bunch of music and then I kind of just looked up, me and my homie Evans, we kind of just looked up like, man, let's make a house project. Like, let's make something a little more experimental, but that's still me. And then... Later, after the music was done, I ended up throwing a party. Me and my DJ, we ended up throwing a party. And we named it Last Chance to Dance like um, at District. So we, so after just doing the party and how that branded so nicely, like that was like such a cool little thing. We were like, let's just make the project. Sounds like, a, like Sounds 432 is um, a frequency which music is tuned into tuned in and it uh, it's kind of like a just a relaxing yeah. frequency. So we kind of made Last Chance to Dance and installment of that and it kind of just worked like it just aligned I let it happen nice oh. yeah fire super fire go listen to that and yeah that's dope man we appreciate you pulling up on us for real had to have you pull up on us we're not done yet we got a uh, baller mail not for sure so. okay? i need the baller mail message dear ball alert i'm feeling away about my most recent date great man handsome and attentive it's just on our date, he picked me up and his top was off in his car because his AC is not working. I'm sweating bullets when we arrive for dinner. Now I have an attitude the entire night because I was hot and my eyelashes were shot. Should I hold this against him? Hell no. Expectations, man. They always <laughs> lead they always lead down lead you down a dark hole, bro. Stop expecting things is my thing. I'm thinking like this could be your future husband and you worried about this man AC being broke in the car. I don't understand that. It's like At least he could drop the top. Right. What you mean? What she you got think? an attitude? Big dog, you should at least got an Uber, bro. Okay. If she got, you know, she probably had the, the curls, the curls probably flew out the window. Mm. Once she had a wig on, shit probably flew off. I, she said her eyelashes were shot. What if she didn't even have any eyelashes? Some people look crazy with her eyelashes. Okay. <laughs> he could have warned her. He could have let her know. He yeah. said her eyelashes was a shot. That mean the motherfucker was goddamn looking like Nikki Natural in that ball alert interview. Oh. Do we have some? Do we have the clip? <laughs> My boy, if you taking your lady out, man, you got to roll out the red. He should have just gave her a choice. Out. You over here thinking that <laughs> yeah. y'all y'all finna go jog Stone Mountain or something, bro? No, said, put me in the AC. We're going out to eat. Did you say jog Stone Mountain? Yes, you got the top <laughs> drop, didn't it? And don't let don't let it have been in Florida, Georgia, Texas. <laughs> he it's said she should have came in. A, he said she should have came in a workout clothes. Yeah, you gonna drop the top? We gonna go work out. He was I, supposed I, to I hit agree. her up. I agree with Cody. She said that he should have at least gave, gave her a notice. Like yo, I'm getting my AC fixed. This day, but I got the top down. If not, I'll call the car. Let me know what you're gonna do. Yeah, he didn't give Uber. her no choice, and that's no choice. when girls have a problem. She probably yeah. would have said, "All right, that's cool." But think about yeah. it. She probably got a choice. I don't know, but she probably got you know dressed up. She could have put some shades. Why on. you keep? Why you? Why you gotta keep? <laughs> You know, she put the whole shit on. It's the hand. You know, Warrior somebody trans, transform. Yeah, you now know. Now, what she, if she uh, didn't put, put that shit, shit on, and it was just regular, and she was just yeah, fact. You know. You just never yeah, know. Coming to dinner sweating. Expectations. Fucking That'd expectations. Be, expectations. Word really yeah, right of the day, expectations. That's expectations. Literally. And yeah. communication. Yeah, mm -hmm. communicate with you, your lady, you should have you should have told that woman that your AC was not working. I would just say bring it up to him and say, hey man, you know, you could at least told me you ain't had no AC. I would have Don't hold it against for the him. occasion. 
She could have, you know, hit the deodorant yeah. a little bit more, put on a t-shirt instead of probably a dress. You know? I think she was more so mad that she was in there sweating. Let him choose. You, you, you over here thinking it's a, it's going to be a wild night because you got your top drop. <laughs> And goddamn, her curls gonna fall all the way out. Yeah. Watch he, this. He probably was. He probably was, <laughs> he probably was like. He probably was like this. Oh yeah, that AC don't work. Don't worry about it. <laughs> he probably ain't telling nothing. He probably was just like mm, dropping that top. Like, you know, like, sometimes no, guys, we don't even think about this. shit. So I'm pretty sure he probably didn't even think about that. <laughs> no, he definitely thought about it. No, he did. If you're taking somebody first on the date? first date, you're thinking about it wasn't everything. The first date, it was a date. Mm. Uh, a date on sounds. Re- she said on my on my most recent date. Yeah, so it sounds like a first date. She said her most. Gotta be a first, first date. That's definitely. Cause she said, up. should I hold him to get, hold it against him? It's only fucked up because he ain't say nothing. Yeah, but that, if that's my girl. Oh, you gonna be alright. You be alright, Yeah, cause yeah, you like, know why you her. Tweaking? But yeah. she feel away because they don't know each other, and this is first impression. Yeah. She's saying all these great. Don't hold it against him. Just, you know, <laughs> just just bring it up in conversation. <laughs> That hoe better bring a rag, <laughs> <laughs> a moist, a moist towelette, and oh, we gonna make man. it. Well, she don't need no makeup anyway. Well, before we get out of here, we got a pep talk with Cody Shane. Um, what's up? It's Cody Shane, and I'm only here to tell you to keep going, no matter what, no matter who says anything. Trust in yourself. Trust your gut. Say your prayers and keep going. Lace your boots up and keep going. I love you. If nobody does. Follow alert! 